So what did we find here? Look at this. We found this when we came to the site. Oh, the, the tooth are falling. The teeth. The teeth are falling out. here. A little bit, but this is a skull of this one right here. She has a brilliant, out of the box idea to put two hammocks on top of each other. I think it's a fantastic idea. So it's like a bunk bed hammock style. So they don't know if people are scared of dogs or if dogs aren't good with other dogs. So if your dog is not on a leash and mine is, he's gonna run up to say hi to my dog and my dog's gonna bite him because he's not good with other dogs. So you counted the steps, right? How many steps were there? 139. 139, exactly. You sure about that? Well, I think I might have lost a couple, but you guys <laughs> can count them. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now New look Same truck Same waiting. I want to start a truck, but I can't start a truck. She's got the keys. Three out of four. Four out of four. We're going to Sand... No, not Sandbanks. We're going to Earl Row. We went to Sandbanks already. <laughs> this is going to be our last trip of the... Or could be our last could trip. Could be. More we than likely. Have we decided about next weekend? No, we haven't decided. We have one more week, but we're not sure if we're going to be able to make it. So this is potentially and most likely our last trip of the season. It's time. It's sad. Wait, don't go yet. It's sad when you're making all these videos of the summer. It makes me more sad. So we're here. We're here at Earl Roll Provincial Park. And we're here. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. If you're watching this and you're Canadian, you know that. And um, we're here for the long weekend. And we're going to, like I said, probably our last time. So we're going to find our site. We're going to be site number 87. And uh, back into that puppy. It should be a nice big site near a park and everything near the washrooms. It's a should be a good site. We've been here numerous times and we've always seen this site. And we've always wanted to get it, and I think this time we've got it. Is it over? This is the remix. I love this song, but you can't play the remix. So we're here, we're all set up. This is the next day. We got in really late last night and it was getting dark and everything, so we didn't <laughs> film too much. But as you can see, let me uh, show you. It's a big, huge site. The, the great thing here at Roro, the sites are massive. And I'm at like, I'll go to where, <laughs> okay. This is the end, one corner of the site. That's where the trailer is. Uh, we're with our friends Jay and Jen and their kids in their little pop-up there. And uh, they're joining us this weekend. It's going to be great. Uh, the weather doesn't look that great. So what we did is we brought back out Mr. Giant Monstrosity Tarp hair, as you can see. We, <laughs> we put it up because it's going to rain. Right now it's kind of drizzling. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but we got our giant tarp up, so right over the fire pit. So we can still be outside and, and do fires and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see what we can do. This may be uh, something not to do. Okay, this is an example. I don't know if you can see the right there, the back and axle of this car. This is an example of the trailer is way too big for that vehicle and. It went by, I wish I could get it going by, the side profile, but 
it was down so low the back end and the front end was so high terrible terrible example or maybe a good example of what not to do a terrible example of uh, safety like that is completely unsafe here it is the famous tree that we always come to here So now that the rain is finished oh, and God. we're still having uh, campfires and stuff, it's lunchtime and as tradition continues, uh, we're having like uh, hot dogs and dogs and sausages on an open fire. It always tastes better than doing it on a barbecue. Right, Julie? I need a plate. No comments. <laughs> yes. If someone else is cooking it, it tastes better. <laughs> sure. This is our friend for the weekend. His name is Diggs. Hey, Diggs. He is five months old. I think five. How old is he? He's seven months old. He's a Boston Terrier mixed with a French. Yes, mixed with a Frenchie. You got a nice sweater on, buddy. So it's not sunny today, so it's a perfect day to go for a nice hike, a nice fall hike. Just check out the changing leaves and the colors and stuff like that. Not the changing leaves. The leaves don't change. Actually, they do change. Look how tall I am, guys. Also, look at my pants. That's what Diggs did to me. Diggs slobbered. Does he like so this sweaters? is our friends uh, that they came camping with us. Yeah. They've got their nice little uh, Fleetwood. Well, so I shouldn't say little. It's a pop-up trailer. It's, uh, it's a 12-foot trailer. And they're the owners of Diggs. They are the owners of Diggs. Yes. Ow! <laughs> Very interesting uh, setup there, how they made a little vestibule with the tarp. What? I'm about to fall off. <laughs> Where are you? Where's your face? Right here. <laughs> so we're going fishing. Yes, with the kids. Any luck yet? Nope. Well, we did get some luck after um, what, one before we get, did get some. I want to try holding it. Some way to roll into the lake. Reed just caught a rock bass. What? Look at that. Yeah. Jeez. I want to try it. So I'm who's going to take it off, Jay? Okay. No, that's just his, his gills. The inside of the fish. I kind of want to lose it. Hold on, let's get. Uh, oh, yes! Hold, hold it there, yeah? Okay. Hold him, hold him. Yes! We got it! Yay! You got him? Is that a bass? You want a picture? I want him to suck on my okay. thumb. <laughs> Ready? <coughs> All three of you guys in the picture? He's closing his mouth. <laughs> you want to hold him? I got it. Sure. Quentin, if you want to hold him, you hold him. Remember how you thumb the, the lips? Like the that? other way, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, like that. Squeeze down. Yeah, squeeze hard. You got it. On picture? Okay, turn it. Turn it so I can get the body of it. Now I can't get your face. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> now I can't get your face. Turn your... Yeah, your yeah, like that. Yeah. Ready? But now I can't get the belly. Turn it. Turn it. <laughs> turn the other <laughs> way. Yeah, like that. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get okay. back in the water. Someone just caught a big carp, it looks like. Coming close. Coming in close. It's a big one. 
Oh, she's not a carp, it's a big salmon. Wow, that was a nice fish. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful trout. Yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, is it a rainbow? I think it's a rainbow trout. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I don't know if he's going to stay in it. Oh, he's going to whip right out. Careful, you'll go right back in the water. <laughs> the bucket's too small. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Oh, they closed the lid, yeah. <laughs> okay, as we're sitting down by the fire, ready to have a nice little drink and a uh, fire and everything like that, here is our next, uh, I guess, campfire recipe. I, I think it's a tra tradition now. So here is a regular marshmallow, and we're gonna roast it on the fire here as we just stick it in, just like a regular roasted marshmallow. You could do two or three. I've uh, borrowed this marshmallow stick from one of the kids. Thank you very much, appreciate it. I'll pay you back. Not with this one, but I'll pay you back. Okay, so after you've got the marshmallow all nice and toasted there, as you can see, um, this, I don't have the bottle, I'll find a bottle. It's Bailey, basically Bailey's Irish Cream. Or you can use any kind of, uh, I, know, I know Forty Creek makes one and stuff like that. So it's like, it's like Bailey's, it is Bailey's, but you can use a uh, other thing that's just like it. And all you do is you dip the marshmallow in the Bailey's while it's nice and warm. And this now, is this is an adult uh, thing. This isn't like uh, the s'more cones or the campfire cones where the kids can eat it. And then you just hear. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> you know what? We usually do these recipes and I don't, um, I don't partake in eating um, them much, so I can't tell you what it tastes like. And I know Julie usually tells you, but <laughs> if you like Bailey's, and you like marshmallows, and I'm not a big fan of marshmallows, but I like Bailey's. It's pretty good. And then what you can do afterwards is chase it with a little bit of Bailey's. Cheers. So it's actually, I've got it here, and I don't know if the light can pick up on it. It's actually um, Bailey's salted caramel. This is the salted caramel version, but you can use any version you like. And I'm going to give Jen some oh, in her coffee. Are you over 19? I am. You are? Okay. Very much. Here, no, I'll let you pour it. Give me, give me the lid. I'll just put it right there. Yeah. This is dangerous. I need this. Yes. I know, is it? I got marshmallows. It's salted caramel. Too. Is that okay? Yeah. And you've got marshmallows in there too. Yeah, and the pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we'll see how this combo works. Yeah, you let me know. This could be another drink we're making up on the fly. Yeah. Like I didn't even plan this one. Here's the first taste test. Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, that's so good. good. Made it way better. No kids. Yes. Dip it in. So Julie's trying the. Um, the Bailey's marshmallow thing, but she's having troubles here. What do I do? <laughs> do you drink you it? dip it in and then you drink it. And then, oh, <laughs> that is a fish. <laughs> what the? Well, now you gotta drink it. Okay, no, that's not cool. No, you've ruined the Bailey's. You know, here's the thing, I think. Try this again. Your marshmallows, you don't kill it on the fire. Just kiss it I with the fire. It. Yes, well, that's the result of roasting it. Take two. <laughs> She's eating it like a savage off the Did stick. You get it? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> how was? How is it? <laughs> that's it. Just all that trouble, and it's just good. <laughs> like a true Bills fan, Jay never misses a game, right? Right. We got a little TV. No, actually, not even. It's just like a laptop, and he's streaming the game on it. It's coming in all like uh, the refresh rate's all funny there. <laughs> so it's amazing. As we're packing up here, um, people are walking by. People are. It's it's the Thanksgiving weekend, and it's actually Thanksgiving Monday. So people are packing up, and, and you can see people leaving. But who shows up to our campsite? And I, I I mean I don't even have to tell you who they are. You you know who they are. The Coles, camping with the Coles, the Canadian uh, family. Yeah, they're such nice people. I mean, you see people on YouTube and they act nice and everything. And you think, okay, like, like maybe even me. Maybe you think I, I'm, I'm just nice on camera, but <laughs> I'm not like in real life or anything. My daughter can tell tell you, am I nice in real life? Yeah, I guess. 
<laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no. What no, my, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. She, she's just kidding. My point is, these people, uh, uh, Ben and Cheryl, we just met them, and we're sitting there talking to them for about half an hour or even more. They're awesome people. It's like, just how they are on camera, uh, in the videos and everything, they're like that even nicer in real life. So, uh, shout out to them. They gave us, they gave Julie, we were talking to Julie too, they gave us one of those, their uh, Camping with the Coles magnets. They got these little fridge magnets. Really cool. Thank you very much for that, guys. And uh, hof hopefully we'll uh, meet up on, in, on other videos and different parks and stuff like that in the future. So of course, on the last day, it's always the best weather day. <laughs> it seems to, to be that's the trend this year when we've gone camping. The other days have been either rainy or cloudy or something, and some of them have been really awesome, but always, it seems for us, the last day when it's like we're leaving, the go home day, the pack up day, it's always the best weather. It's like nice little breeze, sun, clear skies. It's gotta be like maybe 19, 20 degrees. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Never fails. Okay, we're all finished and packed up. Jay's just uh, getting his pop-up hitched on his car. I'm already hitched up. Just walk around the site to make sure we didn't leave any plastic or garbage or anything left behind, anything valuable in the grass. Always a good idea to double check. And then we're out to the dump station and uh, join that lineup for the dump. <laughs> That'd be fun, yeah. So seeing you're a new uh, camper yeah. to uh, yeah. camp with us, what was your first, and be honest, I know I've known you for years, but be honest to everyone, what was your first camping experience with us? Oh, it was amazing. You guys, you guys have everything on lockdown, you know what to do. You got it all, like it's, you, you bring the basics, you bring the things even that you, you think you might not need, you bring that. You guys have, uh, it's, it was a really great time, and uh, we thank you guys for, for uh, posting up next to us. He's lying. <laughs> we actually got our awning the best it's ever been. Yeah. It's good to see that Earl Roll has a full recycling program. This is just a garbage here, and then they've got separate areas here for recycling. Assorted recycling, cardboard and paper only, bottles down at the end there, and you can just put your recycling in there. A lot of these parks don't have this. You, you recycle and everything, and then when you get to the uh, garbage disposal, oh, and you can put propane here. You get to the garbage disposal, uh, you find out, we find out this, we found out many times this summer that there's no recycling programs in some of these parks. We've learned some tips from uh, Ben and Cheryl about getting Julie involved in the videos. She doesn't want to, but for one, this is a funny angle anyways. Like the, I, this, I can't get over the upside down thing. Don't look at it. The, she's saying that the video camera, the, the monitor, the screen, uh, shows us upside down on, on this GoPro. Anyways, we were leaving Earl Road Provincial Park. Uh, three days, fall camping. We love fall camping. Um, Thanksgiving. Have we? Have, yeah, last year. Last, we, year. last year we were at Durham uh, for that Thanksgiving weekend, and that was good. And we checked out all the waterfalls there. Uh, and we were there for three days too. I think mm -hmm. this one was just as good. Uh, the weather was weather was better than I expected. I mean, I thought that the weather was going to be rainy all all day Saturday, but. It didn't. Uh, it was off and on. Off and on. We put the tarp up. The tarp helped. Now, because of the long weekend and because of Thanksgiving and everyone, it's Thanksgiving has become such a popular weekend for camping. Yeah. I mean, it was probably before to some extent, but it's even more now. No, but we saw people like doing their turkeys and having the whole dinner. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they, they just bring the whole family up and uh, just do it right there. And we maybe did we that last try year. That one year. Yeah, bring the whole family up. No, do the turkey. <laughs> do the turkey. Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> Go in the field and catch a turkey. <laughs> We're in line now for the uh, dump out station, and there's a, it's a pretty decent line. It's probably about five. Uh, last time I went down and walked around, and I checked, and I haven't seen anyone come out. There was five to six trailers ahead of us. So you know, that's just part of camping. I mean, you we could sit there and get frustrated and get a uh, all stressed out and everything, or you can just you know say it's part of RVing and camping and stuff like that. Um, but we had a good time. Did you guys have a good time in the back there? Yeah. Kids? Yeah. Kids? Yeah. What was your favorite part um, this weekend? Shopping. Shopping. Shopping shouldn't be. Like, they, the, the girls went into town. Um, if you're not familiar with Earl Row, it, it's in Alliston, Ontario, and oh. it's very, very close well, to the park. All the amenities, food, shopping, everything. Like So if you come to Earl Row, and you know, this is what we were talking to Ben and Cheryl about, and the, the Coles. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Earl Row, I mean, it's such, it's for one, it's a small, quiet park. It's close to, surprisingly, because it's so close to the GTA, I thought it'd be busier. But it's always, when I come here, it always seems to be quiet. When I say quiet, I don't mean in terms of it's not busy. It's always busy. But it's, just, it's a quiet park. There are big sites. The people are just, I guess, just quieter here. But, um, and I've stated this in one of our videos before. There's not tons to do here. And we were talking about this with the Coles. There's not tons to do here. But for some reason, we've been coming here five or six years now. And our, yeah, our kids grew up <laughs> coming here probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this was one of our first provincial parks. I was saying to Abby... Yesterday. Yeah, I think it was. This was our first provincial park that we stayed at. Yeah. Also, uh, I think yeah. other than shopping, well, no, that's a joke. But I think my favorite was like the walk, probably. The walk, yeah. The what walk about finding, fishing? almost finding the end of the rainbow? I didn't. Oh yeah, that that, that, was, that was actually some of my, my favorite. Place. Yes, we'll put up pictures. Uh, that was right behind our. Campsite. There was a uh, there was a uh, rainbows. Uh, with the rain and the sun coming out at different times, the, it made a lot of rainbows. Really, really cool. So there's a rainbow as we're driving, and if you look, you can see where it ends, right in the field there. That's where it actually ends. That's the end of the rainbow. But yeah, the, the park but you has know that what? tree. They love the tree. There's a climbing tree. It's a climbing tree. We're probably not supposed to climb it. I'm sure the park Everyone doesn't knows. endorse it, but the kids climb it, and you just got to be careful and just use, safe, use your common safe. sense. Yeah. But it just goes to show you that you don't actually need a lot of things to do to enjoy, because the kids have always had fun here. Yeah. You, even you, from a very young age. I completely you agree. Yeah. You make your own um, adventures. You know, you you decide what's uh, what's good and what isn't good. So I am. Crumpling up papers. Cheryl talking. had mentioned, and we were going to try it this weekend, but we did have little kids with us. Um, Monoclips. Monoclips. She, they did it this weekend, and they said it's really. Good. Oh, they went. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we we were, we were planning on going, and then we decided not to. Uh, we were at, we had some friends that were going to come up, and we were going to go with them, and they didn't come up, and so we just went for a hike. And there's lots of hiking trails here. There's one hiking trail, and it's not even a hiking, more like a hiking or biking trail. It's the probably biking is good here. four kilometers. Yeah, the biking's good. We didn't bring our bikes this time but we usually do. It's probably about four kilometers. There's a trail, um, I think it's called the Lookout Trail. Um, look on, on the Parks Ontario website under Earl Road, they'll tell you all the trails. But there's one trail that goes behind here, behind the farmer's field and stuff like that. It's called the Lookout Trail. Uh, we took our bikes, Darren and I, ironically, the very first time we came to this park, we had our bikes and everything, and we just stumbled across. We didn't even know it was a lookout trail. We didn't know it was a lookout. And we just stumbled across. We were just riding our bikes, and we just kept riding, riding. Um, and I remember it was some muddy spots and, and puddles and stuff like that. I guess it had just rained then. Uh, but we made it all the way to this lookout uh, through these fields and everything. And it was a big lookout to this, What if I remember correctly, like just a vast wasteland. And if not, uh, I think I want to say there was a cliff. I could be wrong. I gotta go back and check out uh, our old photos because I remember we took photos and stuff like that. But we've yet to go back there and I've always wanted to. Um, it's not something that you could walk with kids uh, unless they're into walking a couple yeah. hours. But if you take your bikes and then you walk part through it's the... a bit of hills. Though. A little bit of hills. But you can walk those parts with the bike and then uh, bike the rest of it. Uh, next time we come here, we gotta bring the bikes and we gotta go check out the lookout trail. That's just one of them. There's different trails here. Uh, some paved trails, like where the roads are and stuff like that. They, they call them trails, but they're really, I guess, walking paths. So it was fun. Uh, enough about Aurora. Uh, we had fun. Thanksgiving was good. This will be our last trip for the season. I think we've come to the decision, right? We have one booked for next week, but it looks like we may have to cancel that. It looks very likely that we're probably going to cancel yeah. that. Maybe. And uh, if you're seeing this, it's too late. I, I'd open it up to you guys and say you could take site, whatever. I'm going to open it up <laughs> um, for, I don't even know what weekend that, that would be. Um, uh, that would be the 17th, 17th <laughs> of October. But anyways, uh, by the time you see this, it'll be long gone. Mm. Uh, so yeah, so we've done seven trips. I was looking at it with with uh, Jay. Seven trips this summer. Um, Ten places. Well, seven provincial parks, Ooh. but nine places. Oh, I thought we had ten. I could be wrong. According to my um, we went next my week, we countdown uh, app that I have, we've done seven provincial parks, and out of those seven provincial parks, there were seven separate trips. But remember that one big long trip, that ten day trip. There was there was two private parks with the provincial park which was Grundy so all in all nine parks nine parks seven 
weekends or trips. And I, I don't even know how many days. We'd have to add it all up. I'd probably say in the 30s or 40s for, for days. But mm -hmm. we had fun. Uh, we'll try to keep content going throughout the winter with reviews and maybe some going back nostalgic uh, old camping trips with our pop-ups and stuff like that. Stay tuned for that. We are going to take the kids to try skiing this winter. Yeah. And, and our channel isn't all about, I should say this from the very beginning, our we channel, even though we do uh, camping and predominantly camping with the RV and stuff like that, we do hikes. So uh, just getting outdoors, we do, um, we'll do skiing. We're going we, to try skiing this winter. I don't out. know our family. We're not a skiing family. We'll try it. So the kids want to try it. We're so. gonna go skiing this this winter. We'll bring you guys along. Anything to, to get outdoors. That's why we're called Outdoor Canucks. Anything to get outdoors and uh, we do, get some energy and some activities. We do winter we'll bring hiking along. through the whole winter. Too, yeah, winter so. hiking. Winter hiking is fun. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, folks, we'll catch you later. Have a good off season, and we will catch you for camping and RVing next season and we'll bring it to all, all to you we'll bring it all we'll bring all this to you guys again with more tips and tricks and advice and you know lists of things that we like to do but stay tuned we're still gonna do stuff in the winter don't don't ignore the channel <laughs> don't forget about us stuff will come. <laughs> okay this is the problem with um Earl Road Provincial Park, and this is why they need to change this part of it. We finished dumping. This is the exit road to get out, and then to go dump, you go down here, and you can see other uh, trailers waiting to dump. But if these people are waiting to dump, and the lineup's this far backed up, now I just left, and I just need to leave. But the exit's there, I can't leave. So that's the only problem. Okay, this person's leaving. They're just trying to get out now. So. I talked to this gentleman in front of me. He's nice enough. He's waiting to dump. Everyone here is waiting to dump. So when the line moves up, this guy here is going to go, and then this guy is going to stay, and I'm going to be able to go around him. That's the plan. You dip it in, and then you drink it. And then, oh. That is a fish. What the? <laughs> Okay, no, that's not cool. No, you've ruined the Baileys.